Hi Sagittarius, welcome to October. This is Teresa from tarabytea.com and I'm getting ready to do your love taroscope for October. And first I want to bring in some sacred space and create because of good energy around this reading. And I also want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for commenting and thank you for those who have purchased readings. I appreciate your support. So let's see what's coming up for Sag for the month of October. You've got a full moon in Aries coming on October 5th, and that's favorable to your sign, although it's connected to um, Pluto. Pluto is squaring the full moon, so the sun in um, Aries, the moon in Libra, no, the sun in, sorry, <laughs> the sun in Libra, the moon in Aries, and um, that's going to be aspecting your 11th house and, and, a, and your fifth house. So the full moon falls in your fifth house, the sun is in your eleventh house, and Pluto's in your second house. So the fifth house is the house of creative expression, children, uh, romance. The eleventh house is the house of dreams, groups, friendships. So it's possible. And then the second house is self-worth and what you value, money. So there could be some power struggles around money about how you, you value, what you value about yourself, you know, what are you worth, are you getting paid what you're worth, is the work that you're doing um, returning, giving you enough money or giving you enough recognition. So these are some of the things that are coming to a head at this full moon. And then you have a new moon in Libra on October 19th. And the new moon is going to highlight the 11th house, which, so you could be coming, starting something new with a new group or even a new job or a new source of income. Um, that's also, it's going to be opportunity. Jupiter is opposing Uranus, so surprising developments. Sudden, you can't really know what, when Uranus is involved, you just don't know um, what to expect. But Jupiter and Uranus to me represents opportunity. But sometimes you might want to go over the top. So you want to make sure you're not um, taking on more than you can handle. That's all with this new beginning. I mean, it has some really good aspects to it, but um, it also, just be careful you don't go overboard in your excitement. So let's see what's coming up for Sag for the month of October in terms of love and relationships and anything else that might be important. What does Sag need to know? What does Sag need to know? I mean, we're all dealing with this Pluto T-square at the full moon. It's just affecting different areas of our lives. So, Eight of Cups. Judgment. Chariot. The Ace of Pentacles. The Hierophant. The Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Page of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Okay, so the Eight of Cups, you start out with October um, feeling like you need to make some changes, like you need to walk away from something. The Eight of Cups is someone who's walking away from something that was once good and is no longer fulfilling. And you're wanting to move on to something that, that speaks to your soul, that um, brings more meaning to your life. So this could be a relationship you could be leaving a relationship that just doesn't do it for you anymore. It could also be a career situation, a job that's just not working. It's whatever it is that's just not working anymore. You're feeling like walking away and maybe starting over somewhere else, maybe even a change of location. Because um, sometimes when the eight comes up, this eight of cups, I feel like people are moving to a new location. Um, it doesn't always have to work out that way. It could just mean a, a literal, a figurative move. You know, you're just moving away from something, moving towards something else, but you're staying in the same location. But judgment is here. So the judgment card represents that you've had some kind of an awakening, or you will in October, probably at the full moon, because the full moon brings things to light. It's going to release. You're going to start to see the truth about certain things. So that could involve... Um, you know, whatever you're working on. If you're working on something, some truth comes up. Um, it could be the groups that you belong to. Maybe you're seeing some truth in some of the groups you belong to. 
and you're become if you could become disillusioned or you could feel like you want to change um, something. You you feel in because the judgment card is it's a it's like a rebirth where you suddenly wake up and you say you know what I've been I've been sleeping at the wheel and now I see what I need to do and I want to work and change my life I want to now that I have this new knowledge this new awareness I want to change my life in a positive way so sometimes the judgment comes up when you you are the agent of change not you're not you know things aren't happening to you you're making them happen so it's not like you know you lose a job or you lose a relationship someone leaves you you're the one making those changes. So you're the one deciding to either leave a relationship or leave a career situation. Because you're feeling stronger within, because you've been working on yourself and you've been really evaluating the places where you self-sabotage, the places where that need improvement within yourself. You've been really um, being a introspective and you're having this awakening hey you know I haven't seen this about me now I know that I have this new awareness about myself and I'm gonna make some changes um, and because you're you're changing within your needs are changing as well and the things that you put up with in the past you just can't put up with them anymore you're changing on, on deep levels with the judgment card and this often comes up when people either change residence or change jobs or leave a relationship that's just not working because you're seeing you're 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 coming like you're waking up it's a wake-up call and once you ha know the truth you can't go back to not knowing you can't go back to being blind so when you have that awareness you have to act on it and so you're going to be acting on this new awareness to find something that better fits your needs that better fits the new person you're becoming um, chariot in the past is a card of discipline and focus. So you've been really working hard on a goal and you've been trying to really focus your energies because you want to achieve a certain goal and you've had to t kind of um, narrow your focus because sometimes Sag likes to tr you know, have their fingers in a lot of pies and, and you're starting to realize like I can't do it all. I just can't. I have to focus on what's most important and otherwise I'm not going to get anywhere. Because if you spread yourself too thin, you feel like you're treading water because you, you don't have the time and the focus to get ahead. So you may have made the decision like, okay, I'm going to drop some of these extraneous things that aren't that critical and I'm going to focus on what's most important. What's the most important goal in my life? This is what I'm going to focus on. And I'm not going to be distracted by other options, other things. I'm just going to focus. And here you have the Ace of Pentacles, which it's already starting to show like there might have been some kind of offer or some kind of, the ace is really, uh, it could be a job offer or some um, financial funding that comes in that's allowing you to, to make a dream or a goal real. Um, and this is, this is in your recent past, so it's already happening. It's not something that's coming up in the future. You're already, you've already either got news that this is a possibility and you're working toward this goal. And you have this hierophant up here. It could be um, you know, you're dealing with, the Hierophant deals with wisdom and teaching, ancient wisdom. Uh, the Hierophant can also represent dealing with something, uh, some person that's stubborn. So you could be in a relationship with someone who's a little bit old-fashioned and conservative and stubborn. And, you know, you're trying to get through to this person and they're just not hearing you. It could also mean you're working with an institution that has very strict policies, long-standing uh, in the community and is not open to change but it could also represent you sharing your wisdom with the world as a teacher a wise the wise elder you know so you it, this new opportunity could involve teaching it can involve either teaching or learning or sharing knowledge in some way um, spirituality um, this is the the, the uh, male counterpart to the high priestess this is the male priest you know um, so it, but it also represents structure and conservatism. So you might be dealing with an organization that you have to, where you have to kind of conform to their rules and regulations. So that could be, uh, I don't know if you like that or not, but one thing that's certain about this organization is it's very stable and solid. So this opportunity can bring a lot of money. It can, this is a card of money. Uh, it's a card of 
efforts that are paying off, that are show that you're going to be actually make making something happen. The Ten of Wands is in the near future. So um, the Ten of Wands, see, now I don't think this is not a love reading. This is more career now that I'm looking at it. But the Ten of Wands can represent putting down a burden. Like you might have been carrying a heavy burden. You might have been working really hard, a lot of responsibility, um, maybe a lot of projects that were requiring a great effort from you. And that's going to start to ease up. So the Ten of Wands means um, putting down this burden, coming to the end of that cycle of hard work, because you're going to be reaching your goal. And it's like, okay, I can ease up on the pedal now. I don't have to be like, you know, uh, gung-ho, working, working, working. Um, the Queen of Wands here, that could represent you or someone that you're dealing with. Um, the Queen is a, you sometimes can be a fire sign, so it could be um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, it's, it could also represent aspects of you that you need to tap into. So this is in your negative thinking sector. So this card usually represents, in the positive sense, the Queen of Wands is someone who's looking for a position of leadership, who's not afraid to take charge of things, not afraid to go after what she wants. In the negative, uh, maybe she's a little bit too aggressive or too ambitious, so, and you have to be careful not to alienate people. Um, because this queen has a, you know, it's like, I'm going to get there come hell or high water. I don't care what I have to do. The ends justifies the means. That's the energy of the queen sometimes. So um, maybe you're feeling doubtful about this position. Somebody, It seems like someone, you might be offered a position of leadership and you're kind of having second thoughts about it. Um, one thing for certain is you need to check in. The page of swords is in your environment. And this could represent spying or gossip, but it could also represent um, looking into things carefully. So it's possible that if you've applied for a job or if you've been given a job offer and you haven't heard back, like they could be looking into all the different candidates really carefully, checking all the you know all the details, checking all the resources um, and the references, um, because it seems like this organization is is big. Um, it's a it's a big operation, so they don't just um, they are really serious about the type of people they hire, and they may be looking into things really carefully. So you may have to wait. So here you have the your wish is to see the fruition of this project, but the so you're starting to doubt yourself with the ten, with the um, seven of pentacles. You're starting to think, well, I don't know what's going to happen. I planted these seeds. Is anything going to come out of it? Um, I think you just have to have patience. I think I, I think that it's it's, it's going to work out. You just have to give them time to do their process. They have a process, and this process can't be rushed. Um, if it's a relationship issue, well, let me finish this career aspect because I'm on the career. <laughs> you have the Queen of Cups at the end, so this could mean that you're either dealing with a water sign, which would be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or it could mean someone who's very sensitive, very spiritual, could be aspects of you. Maybe this job not only involves teaching, but also involves spirituality. Maybe um, it also t will tell you that with the Queen of Cups, you have to trust your intuition. So, um, well, you are, you're going to be using your intuitive skills, your spiritual skills, your sensitivity, compassion. Um, so if you're not dealing with someone that shows all this, this could be someone who's very spiritual, very compassionate. You might be working with them in some capacity. Um, then it means that you need to tap into that side of yourself or that the goal involves those qualities in some way. So I feel like there's, there's a career opportunity coming. And it may be a dream job because, you know, we're talking about the full moon here. Um, activating your 11th house and your 5th house. That's the house of self -ex creative self-expression. Um, the fun house is the 5th house. The 11th house is the house of recognition, dreams, groups, friendships. So your networking, your social connections are leading you to an opportunity that can be lucrative. And um, you're, you're connecting with powerful people. And with Pluto involved, what you have to be careful with it, this, it, Pluto brings very powerful energy. So you have to make sure that whatever your actions, whatever actions you're taking, 
is for the good of all. Because Pluto, when you abuse the power of Pluto and you use it for selfish purposes, it can bring downfall. But when you use the power of Pluto, like the rising tide that lifts all boats, to lift everyone else up, including yourself, that's the best way to use that energy. Um, or ultimately, you could be arguing, you might have a power struggle over money with this company. Like maybe the last piece of the pie is negotiating salary. Um, because Pluto, it, this is going to mean a big transformation for you in the way you view yourself and your earning ability. Um, so it could be a little scary, you know, because it's daunting. <laughs> you're afraid, you know, you're starting to think, can I do this? Um, or you could be dealing with powerful people, people that are, you have to handle with care. So, um, this can also mean, a, the Page of Swords can also mean a challenging conversation, uh, you know, so you ha you're going to be involved in some kind of negotiation that can be tricky. You have to be very diplomatic. You have to choose your words carefully. Um, in a relationship situation, um, it could be that you're dealing with someone who's stubborn and conservative, someone who's been a burden and can be a challenge. And um, you might have to talk to them. You might have to talk to that person. Maybe they're a little bit too aggressive in your life. Or they're too sensitive, um, because you know Sagittarians they're truth see, see, um, truth tellers. <laughs> so maybe your brand of truth is hurting their feelings, and you have to be a little bit more um, sensitive in your communication with them. Because this is a card of it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Um, maybe you feel like you need to check up on someone or someone's checking up on you or you could have heard some gossip about someone that may not be true so you need to check with the source if you're in a relationship it's possible that you've been so focused on work that you've been neglecting a relationship and that person is giving you some problems because they're trying to get attention so uh, maybe they're just trying to get your attention but they're acting out in difficult ways so um, you need to kind of think about it um, is this relationship what I want? If it is, then I need to have a talk with the person, reassure them that they're important in your life and let them know like you, this is just a thing that you're going through because you're trying to reach this goal um, and you've been pulled in a million different directions in the past and working really hard, but that's coming to an end. Um, so the new moon in Libra, um, you're going to be connecting with new group. You have a new beginning. Um, and Libra is about partnership. It's all about partnership. And Jupiter is connected. Jupiter's in Libra, but it's going It's going to be moving into Scorpio. It's conjunct the moon, even though it's in Scorpio. It's at the very beginning so, uh, degrees of Scorpio. So it's an out-of-sign conjunction. Jupiter and Mercury are together with this moon, this new moon in Libra. And um, so you're going to have to choose your words carefully. Communication is going to be important with the new moon. And not to, you know, don't go over the top. Be, be, you know, watch what you're saying and how you're saying it um, so you don't offend anyone. You don't put your foot in your mouth. Um, that's going to be because Uranus is opposing this. So anything can happen. You could be, it could be surprising events could ho pop up. Surprising new opportunities um, with this new moon where you have a chance to express yourself in and be free to express yourself in unique and new ways. Um... That's the energy of this new moon. And with Uranus, you don't know what to expect. Anything can happen. Um, you could be involved in some kind of type of technology, some type of like media project, using the internet, public social media, um, anything, science, some scientific project, technology. Um, so those are some of the things that you could be branching out into with this new moon. And it's going to be like a dream come true, or it's going to be feel like you know you're accomplishing something, you're reaching a goal. So um, I know you've been working really hard. Don't give up. You're coming to the end of the of of your journey where you're going to start to see some results, and you're going to be able to share your wisdom. The only thing you have to watch out for with these astrological aspects and also the um, hierophant is is being too stubborn in your beliefs. You know, because a lot of times people really um, get locked into their beliefs as if their truth is the only truth. 
So you may have to negotiate or allow other truths to be part of the discussion. You may have to open your mind a little bit and um, try to see things from another person's perspective. Don't be so rigid. Uh, because this kind of energy, people are really set in their beliefs. And so there could be a battle, a power struggle of beliefs. You know, you think this is right, the other person thinks something else is right, and you're battling it out um, with this energy. So, you know, you have to t kind of follow the Libra model of diplomacy and negotiation and create win-win, meet people halfway, try to see things on the other side, don't be rigid, don't be stubborn, um, and things should work out fine. And trust your intuition. So I feel like opportunities are coming for you to move away from something that's not working, move towards something or create a new beginning with a group that is going to give you what you need. So you might be moving away from one group of people, friends, or social network, and moving towards something uh, more fulfilling in some capacity. And um, you won't be working as hard. You'll be able to re take a little break in October, at the end of October. Not the beginning, so the beginning may start off a little bit tense, but the end is going to be a lot better. Um, so hang in there, Sag. So that's my forecast for October, and I hope this was a help to you, Sag, and I wish you luck, and I wish you um, wise words and successful communication and dreams coming true. So um, I will talk to you again. Good luck. Hope you enjoyed this reading. I'll talk to you again next month. Thanks. Bye now.